because you're for the hoof boot, the equine jogging hoof boot, you're going to want to have a clean hoof. Ideally, you want to have a clean, freshly trimmed hoof within a day or two of trimming the foot. Um, that's the best time to measure. Zorro is actually due for a trim, so it might be kind of interesting to measure him now and then measure him after a trim and see what the difference is. So you want to have the, nice, the foot nice and clean. And we're going to measure at the widest part of the foot for the width. And then from back here at the heel buttressed to the end of the toe for the length. So um, if you're not sure what the widest part is, just start measuring down the foot. And for him, it's right here. So it's, it's just about three and a quarter inches. Three and one eighths, if you want to be exact. And then his length will be, see how his heel is pulled forward. This should actually be back here, and it's something we've been working on. It's moved immensely. It has really pulled back, but it still has a ways to go. So we need this corn, corn here, seat of the corn, to be back level with his frog here. So it's not. So the heel buttress isn't actually in the right spot. I'm going to measure from the back of the frog right here to the toe. So I'll lay the zero on there and measure forward to the end of his toe. So he's at three and three quarter inches length. His feet have changed shape and changed size a lot since last year. Last year he was um, not even three inches wide and not even three inches long. So I'm really happy with the work we've been doing on his feet and how they're changing and getting healthier. He will probably wear an eight boot this year. Last year he wore a seven. So when you do a, a good trim and um, you have enough hoof to work with, it's amazing how much their feet can change. So Mikey, has, he had, I trimmed him on, I think it's been about four days since I trimmed him. So he's a pretty fresh trim here. Um, you can see that the seat of the corn is more in line with the back of his frog. This foot's twisted a little bit, so we're working on straightening it and bringing this one back even. But it's, he's had quite a lot of changes in his foot too since last summer. Um, so again, you're gonna measure the widest part of the foot. So on him, he is three and three, three and a quarter inches wide. And then, and then the length, and you'll go from the back of the frog there, the heel buttress, forward to the toe. So he is about three and one, two, three, four, five eighths, three and five eighths long. Remember too, that you're gonna to wanna to measure both feet. So um, some of the boots are sold singly and that's because sometimes feet can be different sizes. So make sure you measure both fronts and measure your hinds if, you're, if you need all four done. Measure the hinds exactly the same way as you measure the fronts. So that is just a short overview of how to measure for the equine fusion boots.